Okay, so another uh, video that I wanted to get out, I want to start to talk about some of the features that uh, I've built into my application, and you can build into yours, and I'm going to show you how. Also, it's going to kind of help me remember how I did it, because a lot of times I can't remember, and then it becomes hard to implement uh, in the next, um, the next uh, uh, application. So I've got, you know, the ability to change themes. This is a big joke in the uh, SaaS world, like, do I need to uh, have have that. So if I click dark save, I get dark theme. Um, it says changes saved up there. If I go to light, I get my light theme. So how does this work? Well, what we have is a, a field called theme name, and uh, I'm not going to get all into it, but there is a, uh, a list. Let's see, where is the list? Static values list, which displays light and dark, and it maps to actual theme names. Um, now, these are themes that I've modified the font um, on. And again, I forgot how to do that. I'll have to go look. Uh, there's, I've got an article somewhere uh, that I'm going to post in notes. In, in K2, the K2 uh, repository, there's a notes folder, and I'm going to put things like that that uh, I should review every now and then to remember how I did things. I wish changing fonts was a lot easier. It should be, uh, should be a really simple setting, but it's not. You've got to kind of load your font and all that, get your font file and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, so these map to actual theme names. It's really important that this match the actual theme name exactly. And then we have a processing action. Uh, when we hit save, it's going to run change theme for user. And you can see it's just calling apexutil2.change theme for user with the theme name. So if we go to uh, util2, we've got a change theme for user. Um, if you're wondering why these comments are like this, is the idea here is I want everything, I want all the documentation to eventually be greppable. And so uh, I can just write a shell script which basically extracts all the documentation. So I could put that on another line, but it's a lot easier on this line to grep procedure or function and then get the procedure name and that I don't really care about all the inputs necessarily that's you know something that somebody can go look at um, it's more important usually just to know what um, things are available to you because eventually it gets so big it's kind of hard to know you wouldn't be looking at all the details anyway you're just looking at what well, how would I do this so change theme for user um, we're using a, these two calls uh, we had to figure out how to get the theme ID for the app and how to get the current theme ID for app um, I'm sorry, and how to get uh, the style ID for theme name. And, and then we use the app user, and this all works. Don't ask me why. Uh, as far as the theme ID, we're just using the Gflow theme ID for that. And for the style for theme name, um, we are da, 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 yeah, doing that. Oh, get app ID. So with get app ID, what we do is we, we return the gflow ID, but if that is not there, we use a k2config value that you configure. Um, you need to make sure, you know, that's easy to get out of date if you copy an app and you don't update that uh, for uh, whatever app it is. <clears throat> but this is really only used for testing. Like if you call something from SQL Plus and we need to get the app ID, we need to kind of manually have it. And that's what we use. So if G flow, flow ID is set, we use it. Otherwise, we fall back and may use a app ID that's not correct. So something to be aware of, trying to keep that. Uh, this is a, was a workaround, best thing I could come up with. So that runs. And uh, so the next thing is like, well, OK, when the user logs in, how do we make sure that we're getting this set? And so I just went to you know, uh, here and searched for the call. I knew it should be somewhere. And what happens is on login event calls SAS app on login, and then we can go to SAS app, and we have this procedure that we've written. So this is the hook into K2, the on login event uh, in SAS auth. It will it will look for a procedure called on login. If it sees it, it will call it, and that in turn calls my on login, which I've encapsulated in the package just to make it a little easier to manage. And you can see we're getting the theme name from the user setting, and then we're calling that uh, Apex change theme. 
and so that works. So if I log out, um, and it's light, now when I log back in, it should change to, uh, come on now, okay, it's getting confused on the environment that I'm in, and I've got too many password managers. So you can see it's light. If I go to settings, change that back to dark, save, and log out. Um, log back in, it's dark. So remembers what it was. So uh, that's how I am uh, managing that. And uh, we'll show you how we do custom fonts or something some other time. Um, would like to perhaps build a generic settings page into um, the K2 framework with this already available. You can just hide it if you don't want it. And it would look up the theme name. So it would just look up all the available themes and use them. And then you could limit those maybe. Um, and then you could always modify this page, copy it, but it would be kind of a starter page. So you would have that right out of the box, install K2, import the, uh, the, you know, the, the export of the app, and you would have this demo page, but, or settings page. So that is not something I have right now, but would like to have that name, you know, things like that. You could have a bunch of, you could have a bunch of things here and, um, you know, use them. So anyway, all right, cool. Thanks.